Welcome back to our playthrough of Primordia. We just traded for this uh, memory device here, but it doesn't come with a plug. It's like Best Buy. Accessories sold separately. I don't remember anything more by the bus. Um, the junk area below us. Some place could be so lively and so depressed. The place below us where they threw our book might be important. Uh, but we haven't been up here yet, so let's head up here. Well, boss, somewhere in there is our power core. Um... Eight, six, seven, three, nine, six, seven, three. Is it nine, six, seven? Three, oh, nine. I can't remember. Tommy Two Tone. Anybody home? You know, boss. I don't think that's. You never know. Actually, don't we have a number that, uh... Let's check our data pouch. Data pouch. Didn't we have, like, an absurdly long number that Goliath had in his power core? Cornelius invented new pneumatic drivetrain assembly includes many... Wilder, blah, 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 No, 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 I want to go to the next thing. System user. Sensor plans. Uh, geocodes. Oh, I didn't even have to remember the geocodes. It was already in our thing. Oh, and it's got that second bomb number. Thank goodness. They're throwing digits at me like nobody's business, and I couldn't remember that at all. So what the hell is this the next one go to? The bomb marked B734 was empty when I visited Everfaithful's shrine. I remember on that. Uh, the amount of power... So, 4553... Four five five three one one two. I don't, I'm just stabbing the dark. Four five five three one one two. No, that's not nearly long enough. All right, I tried. Let's see where this track goes. It's far too high to try climbing. Ah, if we have hands, Crispin, action Not time! Not happen, boss. Oh, come on, Crispin. Half the reason I built you with damn a hover capacity is to send you places. Oh, fudge ruggers, where do we... Since robots away. Oh, that's adorable. Where am I supposed to go, then? What am I supposed to do? What do you think, Crispin? Crispin, tell us the I future. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, boss, but do you think maybe we should try scrounging in the Underworks? How do we get to the Underworks? I like that idea, Crispin. I was talking about that just a moment ago. You read my mind, buddy. You read my mind. How do we get to the Underworks? Metal plate? Yeah. It's too heavy for me to lift. Well, then how do we get in there? Let me see your thumb table. What do we need for the crowbar? I'll trade it to you for something. Oh, did we trade the wrong object? Oh, I could really use that crowbar right now. Surely it hasn't gimped us as that. Uh, let's look around. How do we get to the Underworks? What's shiny? Gray robot. Can we talk to this gray robot? How about we give him, like, a broken sensor? A lantern's shiny. Let me see your scum table. A lantern is indeed shiny. Not the crowbar. I said something shiny, not something that shines. Ah. There's a difference? You. A burnt sensor. I don't deal it. That's not what it looks like from here. Oh, snap! Snap, Crispin. I fought. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep bringing up that arm thing. Something that's shiny. I don't want to give him that decryption module. I don't want to give him that either. Crud, where's there something shiny? Crispin! 
boss. We need to make a rocket ship. No, Chris. But if we did, we could harness the power of a black hole. <sighs> no. No. Don't you have something better to do? Like, save. I bet you it's below here, but how the hell do I... Let's let's look back. There's probably something shiny somewhere. Oil? It belongs to... Okay. Rex? Rex? Crispin can't lift that thing, I don't think. There's no way... Where are we going to find something shiny? I really hope I didn't trade the um, object no time for... to the dude. Huh. I don't see anything shiny. Maybe let's go back to the train. Maybe there's something shiny at the train. There's diddly squat here. Ah, oh, where we have it. I need that crowbar. The sad thing is we're surrounded by objects that would be equivalent to a pry bar. And I can't use it. Loader. I think it's ign- Crispin, talk to the man. Deal with He's him. He's not for sale. I'm... I'm... Yeah, I know. I know. Crispin, what can you tell me about this metal plate? Is that really the best I... Your sass is getting up to here, Crispin. It's getting up to here with me. Is this a ladder? Is this a... Is Home Slice blocking a ladder access? Because I'll be angry if he is. How do I get down onto this thing here? There's a door. Can we use that door? Anyone home? Anyone home? Computer terminal. No. Ah. Uh, is this a separate exit over here? Maybe it's the same exit. I'm looking around. I'm gonna find something, damn it. So I can't. I don't know the combination that's to that door. I don't know a way of getting down. Some kind of track running up the side of the tower. We could somehow use that. I don't think you have anything to use that. Can't really do anything with the console. Looks like someone tried shooting the door, but the damage is entirely superficial. <laughs> Amateurs. What does this console look like? A touchscreen interface. All right. It's got to be somewhere around here. What can we do with a memory device? I can go into a data pouch, but I don't have a plug. I can't be get back to my ship again. I think I already think I used the plug. Or the plug. Let's go this way, Crispin. A crashed hover bus. Yep. So we're gonna fix it up and do something amazing. No, it's not up. A floating light bot. It's holding us. It? She? And. Then do something about Crispin. Seal the deal. I've never had to talk to a. I've got. Ah, uh, all right. It looks like he's trying to fix that. I have nothing to say to him. Ah. Uh... It's a carving of a gynoid holding crude scales in one hand. Looks important. What the hell is shiny? A complicated floating robot with a spinning antenna on its head. A rather simple looking model. Gonna give me something to work with, Chris. Gotta be some other way to communicate with that floating robot. I am waiting. He's got a floating robot. Yeah, let's talk to this floating robot. Yeah, okay. Decryption module. Bam, happened. Never it's not gonna work. Data pad. D 
done happening, robot. I doubt that will happen. All right. Memory access module. I doubt that will. Not working. Lantern? Totally unilluminated. Thank you for that. Signal transmitter. Oh, Snap, is this working? Try sending messages to him in binary. On an analog transmitter? Shh, quiet! That sounds like fun. For once, I'm glad you're the one with hands. There we go. What's he saying? Shh. You do not join the harmony. I sing alone. I am one part great freight friend. To your kind, I will be known as Gimbal, built by Lapidus of Civitas. No more about the Civitas. Quiet silent. Burning ship has been extinguished. Strange tractors attract no more. I alone sink function. Oh, that's sad. Why are you in line? When I came to this silent city, I looked for others to join the harmony. Leopold, built by Steeple, told me that he had a device that would sing with me. In exchange for it, I traded my secondary motor. For what he sold me does not say. Here we have it. Is it shiny? It's a record. It's a record? Leopold tricked me, and he will not return my motor. I will sell him and force him to return. Infinite lawsuits are the one. I sing with all my voices. You hear only one. Now, I must recover my motor so that I can dance. So what can we do with Looks a like record? We're going to need to go talk to Leopold about a motor. That guy's not being very helpful. Um, let's take a look at this record. It's a vinyl record entitled Children Sing Along, whatever that means. Huh. How the hell are we going to play a vinyl record? I can't even play a vinyl record. It's a vinyl... In fairness, that is a good object. He just didn't give you the parts to use it like he did me. So he needs a larger motor for... I don't know what to do with that record, frankly. What? Sorry about that, uh, phone call coming in. Sorry about that, I left my Gmail open and it sent a call to my computer. So, where were we here? Um... You need to give back Grimbal's motor. You need motor. to give Gimbal back his motor, Leopold. All trades are final, Tyro. Told him that before we did the swap. Now my problem, he don't like records. You knew he wasn't looking for a record. Listen, Tyro. I don't know what people want or don't want. They do. Not my job to do Q&A on their faulty logic. You know he's going to sue you, right? Let him try. First off, he can't get into the courthouse any more than you can. Second, what's his case? A deal's a deal. Uh, I'm see your stuff. Come take a look. I really need this crowbar. I'll trade it to you for something. Sh something shiny. Where the? Ah, uh, can I use? That's some fucking shiny. That there's get for the old Nova robotic subsist. Not interested. I have no need for an app. All right, we don't need this stuff. Um, is that the motor that Gimbal Lapida built? This. This is a Sterling Air motor. Something else entirely. Would it help me fly? Nope. We're not looking to pick up random motors anyway. So it's only one. Motor? Sure he is. 
Find me a bigger one, and it's yours. Man. We need a thumb for this one, and what we that need That servo this? unit is hopelessly broken. Nothing. What do you want for this one? Bloodborne. Bring me something that'll cover a face, and it's yours. Okay. Well, I'd imagine this is shiny, but maybe we It's a memory this. access device that can plug into my data pouch. That is, provided it had a plug. Yeah, I don't remember if we had one back at our ship. But we may have used the plug in this stupid thing here. The entire thing is fried. Actually, yeah. wait a minute. What? The crystal and plug are still intact. The plug! The plug! Use the plug! <laughs> Please, for the love of Ram and Rom, tell me we are not going to build a third energy sensor. I hope Quiet. not. Quiet. Crispin, quiet. We're onto something. Plug. Uh... Data pouch? How would that even Shush, quiet. Plug. That was memory. easy. There we go. And this one goes even on the... Even easier. So, so how do we use this? I'll talk to you later. Is it data? What does it do? What does it do? What does it do? Something shiny. Um, but what does this do now? How can we use this? I'm obviously not seeing something. Can we use this on ourselves? Don't we have bad memory? This reader. Can I use it, Crispin? I'll use it on Crispin. Very fun. I need to see what he's offering before I can make a trade. Oh, I don't want to trade this. No, I don't want to trade this at all. It's a memory reader. We can't afford to waste time. You know, boss. All right, we'll have to sit back and figure out what that does later. A sodium iodide crystal. It pulses when exposed to energy. Ooh, how can we expose it to energy? The crystal glows a bit when the plasma torch is near it. There we go. The crystal... The crystal lit up a little bit when it got close. The crystal lit up a little bit. Um... He said that he doesn't want... Let me see your stuff. It has to be I'll shiny, not... I can't remember what the hell he said. I said something shiny, shiny not, not something, something that, that shines. shines. Uh, then that might not work, actually. Here you go. There we go, yeah. Nice shiny crystal. Mind, it does. And one heavy iron crowbar for you. Why does that not seem like a great deal? <laughs> because we're surrounded by freaking pry bars, that's why. We got it ripped off. However, we want to try to use it. Yup, there we go. Like we assumed, it was going to lead us down into the Underdark. Alright, we can find some more junk down here. Well, this place is uh, dingier than I It looked remember. like they've been stripped of usable parts. Well, we can um, look for... Never mind, we just broke that apart and sold it, didn't we? We can't look for energy. I forgot it broke! There's no way I can reach that. Crispin, go! Where are we going? Where are we going, Chief? Crispin, could you go see if there's anything worth taking from those cars? Yeah. Talk to me, Crispin. It's clean, boss. Looks like you're not the only junk man in... Ah, uh, fine. Vehicles, water... I don't want that sludge in my joints. Like there was something over there, which is now making me very paranoid. This vehicle looks more intact than the others. Let's salvage it. Cut it open. Break it apart. There's no reason to cut that or burn it. This vehicle looks. This vehicle looks more intact. Well, salvage it, damn it. Um. Uh, I don't. If that one looks more intact, then let's get up in there. No reason to go smash. 
fine. I don't want to exit. There was something over here. And if it's laser claws, I don't want to be... Uh, okay, that is... I don't think that's laser claws. Is it? Oh, ha. Oh, he. Now look what I see. The wings of a bunny and his little trainee. Why is everyone we meet crazy? Crazy, he says. Oh my, oh dear. I assure you, my comrades, there's nothing to fear. Just little lost me, your brother knight errant. A brother in arms. We have different parents. How do you survive down here? I'm a soldier by trade. Legion built me to last. My armor is sturdy, my pistons are fast. I carry no guns, for my weapon's my mind. And those who would kill me will find themselves primed. Really? Don't you think you're overdoing it? Shh, I mean, that barely made sense. And it hardly rhymed. No. Bro. <laughs> who nice. are you? My name is my secret. You can't make me talk. I'd ruin my puzzle. Give a key to my lock. Maybe we'll just call you Screw Loose. A joker, he seems. For sure not an ace. He needs a small clue to spare him disgrace. For the crowds who adore me, Prime is my name. By now, no doubt, you've heard of my fame. Why Primer? There's nothing so gorgeous, flawless, or fine as the perfectly indivisible numbers of Prime. Consider this list 2 to 199. Uh, uh, yep. Well, do anything? that was helpful. Why are you here? When we laid down our arms, my medal was taken. Trunk of honor from the cause we'd forsaken. The Metropolitan Thief cast it deep in this hole, where now it lies buried like bituminous coal. Hogs and gears, bituminous coal! You're looking for a medal? No, my comrade, you've misunderstood. I sit here and wait, as a penitent should. If the metal finds me, I shall claim it straight. But until that day, I shall sit here and wait. Goodbye. Farewell, farewell, linger not for my sake. Your mission is calling. The city awaits. So we're gonna do with these prime numbers. Or were they even prime numbers? Too big to waste time with here. There's nothing worth bothering with. Looks like the grill of an old chrysalid. Primer. They seem else. to be foundation supports for the city above. Those are all that's supporting the city? Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. All things gonna come down eventually. Switch way. Um. Let's try this way first. Yeah, interesting, interesting. How do we get across this bridge? A thing. There's a thing in a crane. I can't reach it from here. I wonder if that keypad can... Crispin, go! I summon you. Crispin. Crispin, can you try typing something into that keypad? If by typing you mean ramming my face, <laughs> then yes, boss, I suppose I can. I forget you don't have any fingers or hands. One date, Crispin. Oh, what the fudge ruckers. Um. <sighs> Tommy, two tone! No, let's try it. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh. One, two, three. Three digits. <laughs> All right. What does that guy up there have to tell us? We yell at him from here? There's something up there on the... There's something... Crispin Goo! 
Boss, I'm not in the business of flying over to spooky islands, but it might be a killer robot with a grudge. I was going to say help. Oh, Crispin, Crispin, Crispin. Uh, I don't... All right, we'll need to come back here when we have a code. I don't want to go through all, like, the... I really don't want to go through all the sequences of Prime. That couldn't be it, right? That's a bunch of... Ah, uh, we can try it. Why not? So what do we got here? So if it's three digits, I don't know why it would be. All right. The string of numbers from Primer. So I'm going to write this down here really quick. Because I can't remember these offhand. Actually, that's a bunch of numbers. That is a lot of numbers. I would have to try. I don't have to try all of these. Do we want to try all of these? No, that's a bunch to go through. Uh, I'll assume that is not the case. So let's try the other way first. Plus, I shouldn't have to randomly just punch numbers into a... Submersible? Slow? These submersible robots seem to be consuming the iron oxide in this runoff water. In other words, they'd eat us if we fell in? Only our rust. Now I really wish you'd polish me with that rag, boss. Can we scoop them up? They're much too quick to catch. And even if I could... Deactivate it and give it to Metro Mine. Warning. Factor facilities decommissioned. Enter at own risk. I don't see that there's a good likelihood that our book survived down here. Probably fell into the water. I can't see anything to do with it. Talk to this For now, that thing's ignoring us. Best to keep it that way. Can we pass him? For now, that thing's best to keep It's some kind of broken down... Whatever it is... Memory. Memory? For now, that thing best to keep. Um. It seems to be out of memory. Whatever. What do you think, Crispin? Someone around here's got to know something about how to get that bridge to go down, boss. Oh yeah, maybe maybe Primer does. It's Warning. A sign. Factor okay. enter. I didn't even think about asking Primer. That's why you're here, Crispin, to help me out. Do you know anything about that locked bridge past the cars? What I know is a vault not tied with a key, which only a fool would open for free. Fine. What do you want? Was well, that a fool, a peddler, is he, who opens his locks for merely a fee? I repeat, what do you want? Nothing more than to sit here and see. If you poor interlopers are smarter than me. Boss, can we use the plasma torch on him? No. He's a military bot. He would wreck our crap up, man. Uh, there's a dangerous looking robot just past There's him. a dangerous looking robot just past here. Yeah, aren't you worried he's gonna eat you or something? I've seen him quite often, though he'll not see me. And so we are happy as neighbors can be. Can you hide us from him? If I could, I would not, but the choice is not mine. There's no room in his brain to be for the primed. Goodbye. Farewell, farewell, linger not for my sake. Your mission is calling. The city awaits. Did he fill his brain all up with prime numbers? For now, that's best to keep it. What? 
to use that signal transmitter and... I don't want to provoke it. For now, that best to keep... For now, that best to keep... There doesn't have any more room. Uh... <laughs> Cryptor's gonna do it. For now, the best. Sounds like we need to get into the courthouse and talk to. What would man do? Okay, okay, give. Something's coming. Uh, actually. I... Yeah, I don't have any idea either. <sighs> Did he stole them with prime numbers? If not, how the hell do we get across the bridge? This Maybe was... if we were back at the unique, I'd take it. They're much too quick. I have nothing to say. Nothing I don't want that to say to him. This vehicle looks more. How can we use that in some way? We don't want to cut it. Well, I want to cut into it, but he won't let me. There's no reason. So we want to start punching in prime numbers into that um, data pad. I'm not sure if that'll work. You can certainly try it. <sighs> Here we go. Don't be a little bitch, Crispin. It's for the greater good. So, 101. It's not right. Oh, that lockout time is going to be really bad. 103. I'm seriously not going to sit here for all of these numbers. 107. Hmm. 109, or maybe let's try it from the other way. 199. What in this room? Do we want to go up and talk to somebody above? Maybe, maybe that Leopold guy knows something that we don't. It's a huge... It's a huge... Yep, I know. It's a huge crane. Combinations of digits that we don't have. Maybe we can ask somebody upstairs about some information. What do you got for me, Leopold? I don't want to see your stuff. About you. I don't have anything to say. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I didn't see that robot before. I'm sure it's just another robot. You're useful, Crispin. Give me something I can work with we here. We should look around and see if there's a way to lower that drawbridge, boss. Yeah, that, that's what I want to do. look like they've been stripped of this view. Whoa, oh, oh, vehicle hatch. Vehicle hatch, I didn't see that before. It's rusted shut. There we go. Maybe we can trade this motor? That's a big ass motor, though. I've cleaned off the rust. Looks like there's an engine. Well, let's see what we've got. Let's see if I can manage the. Hopefully, I won't be holding onto this engine. Anything else in here? I have no use. That's never stopped you before. I have no use. I have no use. I have no use. I'm not seeing anything else in here that we're going to need. I. Okay, let's close that. I can't get it open. To the surface world! Leopold, I've got you a motor. Fan belt? What can you do a fan belt? Let me, Let see, me your see your stuff. stuff. Come take a look. I want that object and I'll give you a large car. The sooner I can stop carrying... I'd be happy to... Yeah, there we go. Here you go, Leopold. A nice big engine for you. Not bad at all. You're a real scavenging expert. 
Is that a compliment or an insult, boss? Wait a minute, this motor's broken. The copper wiring's been stripped. All items sold as is, Tyro. And I never said anything about copper wire. You're a fine piece of work, Leopold. Never said anything about that, neither. Now you want to trade? Let's trade. Otherwise, get a move on. So help me, you are going to get what's coming to you, Leopold, with your Johnny Five tracks and your poor attitude and business sense? Well, you have good business sense. Just evil business sense. The motor's been stripped of its copper wiring. A machine belt. What can I do with a machine belt? Can I trade it to him for something? Let me see your come take a look. I don't think there's anything else we need from him. The blood bowl, bring me some. Cover your face. Maybe the machine belt. What is it? Maybe we can use the machine belt in addition to something else. Parts. That there's an old Nova room. Not interested. Not interested. A small motor, battery. We don't need that. Servo that unit. servo unit. Oh, this is broken. A glass finger. You want it? You're gonna. Glass thumb. Tyro, I'm gonna do us. We don't need it. I have. Alright, I don't think there's anything else that we're gonna get from him. Maybe the glass thumb later on, but I can't see anything. Uh, I wonder if that one robot wants her motor back, or if we need to fix it first. It looks like... You again? What do you want? Uh, yeah, there's a locked bridge in the underworks. Down in the underworks? I came across a drawbridge that someone locked up, so it can't be used. Do you know how to fix it? Well, Metromine closed off the underworks for public safety, so I don't do repairs there anymore. <laughs> but what? That sounds like a prank pulled by a bolt brain calling himself Primer. He used to hack locks in Metropole and change the passcodes around to leave his signature. How did you fix the locks? Metromine cracked his codes and reset them. Processing power like hers, there's nothing she can't do. You know, boss, Gee. I've got a feeling that Metro Mind isn't gonna help us on this one. No, but we're not exactly new to cracking codes either. <sighs> we use that decryption module? Or maybe it's one of these damn... Oh, please don't tell me it's one of these prime numbers. I'll have to go through all of them. You again. Could you help me fix this motor? Does it belong to Metropole? No. It's private property. Then find a private. Can I have some of that copper wiring? Sure. Just write a requisition, put it in an envelope, and throw it off this bridge. What? What is exactly right. I think I'm gonna give away city property. Goodbye. Uh -huh. I have nothing to say. I'm not here to say. You need to work your magic on this Can one. Can I have some of that copper wiring? She says no. Crispin, do it. Come on. I've never had to talk. I've got no... Can I, can I trade you a, uh, a fan belt? Feudal. Feudal. I doubt that will happen. So they have copper wiring, but they're not going to trade it to me. Not unless I have something useful for them. Uh... That's ne... I doubt that will happen. Can't decrypt anything. What does this reader get us? Feudal. I doubt that. Feudal. Fine. I definitely want to repair it prior to giving it to that person. I don't think that sad robot's going to help us. Excuse me. Sir, my apologies, sir. 187th Legion Belt, Surly Company, reporting. Uh, Horatio Nobelt, version 5. A pleasure. Horatio Nobelt, sir? Never heard of any service bot with that designation. Still, it's good to see another Urbanian, sir. After things got fubar back home, I figured Surly Company was all that was left. Urbanian? What are you talking about? This sod. Finally made a friendly and he's as chronic as primer. No offense, sir, just hoped... Well, never mind that. How can I assist you, sir? So we're from some sort of different area. Surly Company. Urbanian. What are you talking about? Um, well, sir, I'm not sure quite where to start. 
I had you figured for one of us, seeing as how you came up as a friendly on my IFF. I could see you as a member of Surly Company, boss, but as friendly? Nah. Zumi's got some mouth on him, huh, sir? Always do those flyboys. Look, why don't you just give me a quick rundown? Well, sir, can't say to harm, even if you are a decoy. War is over, after all. It was over before Surly Company even deployed. See, we're Urbanian robots. Long time back, Urbani and Metropole got to fighting over something, who knows what. The Metropolitans fried their civilians, and Legion told us to strike back. Word was, some big airship of ours was supposed to knock out Metropole's defenses, and we just come in for mop up. But the Metros took our ship down with their own heavy hitter, some giant named Goliath. No. I see. Anyway, Surly Company was all that was left, so we deployed 200 strong. What happened then? Well, it's a long march from Urbani, sir, and most of us, well, most of us broke down on the way. All said and done, the only ones who made it were me, 113th, and a signal bot we call Primer. The rest are all out there in the dunes, somewhere. I'm sorry. War is war, sir. If it didn't crash hard, they wouldn't have built us in the first place. If it makes you feel any better, Horatio cut Goliath's finger off. Well, sir, someone ought to stick a metal on your chest. Oh, that explains a lot. Apparently, I wonder if the spaceship that we have is part of the... The City Smasher weapon, or if it's the City Smasher weapon itself. And then Goliath we destroyed in the war. And we're some sort of Orb Urbanian robot that was sent here to attack Metropole. Uh, Horus was the original name, I think they said. Hmm, maybe we've lost our memory. I wonder if, I, kind of Iron Giant style, if we remember everything, if we turn all evil. Ask some more questions. This guy has a hell of useful information. Why are you in line? Seeing as how I'm on the outside now, sir, I figured I had to go pay restitution for shooting up the enemy HQ. Enemy HQ? Yes, sir. That big tower in the center of the city. Okay. So why haven't you paid? It sounds like all of this happened a long time ago. Years ago, sir. But the courthouse has been locked down the whole time. I figured they'll open it up eventually, and then I can clear my name. What if it doesn't open? Well, sir, I know all about hurry up and wait. Now, it, did we attack after Metromind had taken control of the city, or did we attack prior to then, and then in the confusion, she gained control? I wonder. Can I try opening that door? Lay that, sir. The authorities told me that no one goes in till the door opens on its own. But aren't we on the same side? Affirmative, sir. But since I'm on CivDiv now, my programming requires me to submit to the local authorities. What happened to 113th and Primer? After we got to Metropole, we tried to put up a fight, but couldn't do much. They fried 113, and my rifles jammed. Primer surrendered on our behalf. After dressing us down, they took all my big guns and sold 113th shell to some scrap dealer. Primer never was the same. He encrypted part of his own logic so he wouldn't have to think about losing the war any longer. Then, he disappeared beneath the city. And me, I came here. Oh, so Primer might have more information for us in his head. How did the war end? For Surly Company, it ended when we staggered in here and surrendered. Beyond that, sir, it's all above my pay grade. Truth is, sir, we never even knew what we were fighting for, let alone what the Metropolitans wanted. So I can't say for certain that Metropole won, but I'm pretty sure Urbani lost, what with all the civilians being dead and the army being beaten. How do you know you even have to pay something? This seems logical, sir. What if I could pay your fine for you, or get it cancelled? Well, sir, then I'd be much obliged, and I'd probably just leave town. Can't say that I'd much like being in enemy territory. And how are we gonna do that, boss? I'll figure something out. I inspected the damage. All you did was ding the metal. Well, sir, until someone shows me the law that says I don't have to pay, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I met Primer. You still crazy? Yep. Well, so it goes. Goodbye. Over and out, sir. Well, that was very useful. 187. There's nothing more to say. We need more copper wiring for this guy. Let's talk to that sad robot down here. Maybe there's more information we can get from him. A rather simple looking model. I am... And he needs a bus to keep running. So what's our next step here? Let's look at the time, see what we got here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments about the video or what you may want to see on the channel in the future, please leave us a comment below. And if you'd like to see more of our future videos, feel free to subscribe.